you need to have uh, what we call civics education. That means you're teaching the kids about their own country, their own government. You're teaching them about how democracy works, how the elections work, you know, and um, you're teaching them about human rights and your, the rule of law and that, you know, um, about the relationship of the citizen with the government and, and what the responsibility of a young citizen is, you know, to participate positively, to appreciate um, their, their, where they live and their neighbors, to be a good citizen and a good neighbor. And in that context, then you can begin to add the discussion about what NATO is, because those things you're teaching them in civics and how to be a good citizen are the basic NATO values. <laughs> that, and, and so then it's easier to explain if a, a young person then understands um, the uh, democracy, then they can understand how NATO works as a as a organization of democratic nations that collectively make decisions, and that your country, as one of those members, is an equal to the other members, just like all citizens should be equal under the law. That Georgia, as well as the other members, are considered equals and have an equal voice in the final decisions that NATO makes. So. Um, I think it, it's best for kids not to talk about NATO as somehow separate from your own society, because it's, it's not. Um, and this is what NATO integration is about. This is the, the shared values and worldview that I talked about earlier. And um, this makes it easier for them. Um, it's important for young students to value their nation and to be proud of their country, be proud that they're um, a citizen of this country and that they par will participate and uh, that they should serve in the best interest of their country as a citizen and then um, treat others, other citizens, with these same values. It's e equality and um, based, on a, based on the rule of law.